Hi, and welcome to the Best of California. I'm your host, Pat Patterson. And look what I got under the tree. An Elux electric bicycle, the Malibu GT model. This thing is incredible. And we're going to take it all over the state. We're going to head out to Beverly Hills and visit their last remaining film location of the classic It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. So stick with us for the Best of California. Let's get going. Okay, I'm excited about this new Elux bike. Let's go check out some Santa Clauses. So I'm excited to be here with Mary Mallory, film historian and author. She is, her, your books include uh, How Hollywood Celebrates the Holidays, Hollywood Land, and... Hollywood at Play. And it's amazing. She knows everything about film locations. So we are at Beverly Hills High School. This is a swim gym. Tell me why we're here. Because in 1946, Frank Capra and Jimmy Stewart and Donna Ree, they filmed an important scene from It's a Wonderful Life here. That's one of my favorite holiday films. And, and the scene that happened in here has to do with a pool. What happened? Well, so this is the attraction between George and Mary start really coming together. The beginning of the love story. The beginning of the love story. They're dancing the Charleston in a contest, and they start getting carried away, and their friends decide to open the floor to the pool. They fall in, but then everyone decides it's a fun thing and all jumps in the after teachers, them. The teachers, everybody jumps in. And, and It's a Wonderful Life was filmed on studio, obviously, but I understand Encino as well? Uh, yeah, well, Encino, that they're, they had their big ranch. Every studio RKO. had a big ranch, yes, RKO. And so they had an outdoor ranch, but they wanted even more. It needed to be like a three-block long city um, that they built in the middle of the summer. In Encino, where, you know, it's winter, they're wearing winter coats and filming, you know, with fake snow coming down while they're filming. And you are an expert on just how Hollywood has affected our image of the holidays. So talk a little bit about that. Well, I mean, Hollywood indirectly and directly have affected how we view the holidays. I mean, movies in particular, um, you know, family gatherings, how you decorate, same way with still photos of about... Um, showing sort of the styles of from regular Christmas trees to the 60s aluminum trees. The Hollywood Christmas Parade. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that, how that evolved and what that is continues to this day. Yeah, well, it, it started for selling too. Um, and These marketing people. I mean, I'm telling you, nothing's changed. No. Um, Hollywood, you know, came about in late teens. Every All the studios started moving here. Well, Hollywood Boulevard became the most fashionable place to shop. There were upscale department stores, boutiques. Well, by the end of the 20s, now we've got neighborhoods around L.A. that are coming up. People don't need to come to Hollywood. They can shop in their neighborhoods. Oh, so this was to promote shopping. Yes. Yeah, wow. So C Colonel Harry Bain, he was president of the Chamber of Commerce and had been reading about Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And so it, it helped promote shopping, you know, come to Macy's or whatever. Now's your time to buy Christmas gifts. So they started the parade. That first year, it was Jeanette Loff, an actress, Santa Claus, with one reindeer pulling them in a little sleigh down Hollywood Boulevard for a couple blocks and like two floats. But it, it quickly mushroomed after that. Yeah, and now and now it's it's and remind me it's on Thanksgiving. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Sunday after Thanksgiving. Yes. And it always has like a celebrity grand marshal. Supposedly the song Here Comes Santa Claus comes from because in I think it was forty six also Gene Autry was the Grand Marshal. And he heard kids going, Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. And so he wrote the song because oh of that. So yeah, so that came out of the parade. Well Mary Mallory, this is it, it, incredible in terms of how the holidays have impacted California and more particularly yes. Hollywood. Yeah. Thanks for being with us. Oh, well, thank you for having me. And that's this episode. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tell us why you're the best of California, and we'll come cover you.